The mountains of America, Asia, and Europe are home to a giant mammal with a fierce nature. Hunting by day in the forests and rivers, its diet includes meat, berries, nuts, and fish. Full-grown males can reach 750 kilos in weight. They have large teeth and an exceptional sense of smell. Bears. This one has come to the river for an event that tests the athletic skills of predator and prey. Bears are distantly related to dogs, but they have long bodies, stocky legs, and they're much bigger. This river is a major highway for a very special fish. Every year, Pacific salmon race along these waters to breed. They have to leap enormous hurdles and avoid being eaten by waiting predators. These salmon have been at sea for two years. Now they're returning upriver to where they were born. This adult grizzly bear has been waiting for the rich food to arrive. The salmon run is at its peak in June and July. These fish are an essential protein source for the bear. When the weather changes, there will be almost no food around. It needs to eat as much as it can if it is going to live through the long and icy northern winter. This is a race to the death for fish and bear. Only the fastest and strongest salmon will get past the line of bears. And only the bears who pack in lots of protein will be strong enough to survive when the snow closes in. Bears start training to be warriors when they're cubs. These two cubs spend most of their waking hours playing. They are developing the skills they need to be good fighters. They will need to win many fights if they're going to survive as adults. Bears don't just fight for food. They fight to defend territory and to win a mate. This young grizzly male is looking for his own territory. Bears are not very sociable. When they're not breeding, they usually live alone. But this territory has already been claimed. This time, the fight between the two bears is serious. If you have no territory, you have no food. The new bear is too small. He's not strong enough to win this time. The younger bear must come back when he's big enough to take on the larger male. This adult female is guarding a large carcass and she's not about to share it. A wolf has picked up the scent of the kill. He is also hungry. The wolf is wary as he approaches the carcass. He is no match for the size and strength of the bear. They are apex predators. If the bear was injured, then the wolf might stand a chance. Like all her kind, she has become a well-trained warrior, and she will need to fight every day to survive. Competition is tough where the land meets the sea. Food can be plentiful, but that attracts a whole host of predators. And somewhere safe to live is often hard to find. Sea lions are perfectly adapted to live in this boundary zone, hunting in the water and resting on dry land. They live in vast groups comprising males and females, young and old. To hold all this territory, 
sea lions have become intelligent and fierce fighters. There are seven different species of sea lion. They all have a fur coat and small ears. This adult female is off on a hunt. Once in the water, she's really in her element. She's capable of speeds up to 40 kilometers an hour, and she can dive down 250 meters. She's looking for a tasty squid, an octopus, or maybe some herring or hake. It's feeding time. Sea lions have two major predators who won't be far away, sharks and orcas. So they're racing back to the beach for their own safety. Back at base, the fight isn't over, especially for the bulls. It's breeding season, and only the best fighters will be given the chance to mate. But the beach is not as safe as it looks. A pod of orcas has come for dinner, and they enjoy eating sea lion pups. The sea lions flee the shallows. But one was too slow. No one knows for sure why the whales throw the pups around, perhaps to stun them, or maybe even as a game. The orcas visit this beach every year during sea lion breeding season. It's a perfectly balanced fight for survival. Once the pups get too big, the orcas will leave, and enough sea lions will survive to sustain the colony. One warrior has played more parts in myths and legends than any other. Often portrayed as a dark creature of the forest, or a figure of nightmares and horror stories. They hunt in packs and howl at night. Animals take flight when they sense them approach. Wolves. Wolves have lived close to humans for at least 15,000 years. The wolf is the direct ancestor of all our domestic dogs. He is intelligent, social, and a very impressive fighter. Life is tough on the Arctic tundra. There's limited sunlight, not much warmth, and very little food. Your chance of survival is increased if you work as a team. It's springtime. The snow is clearing and the short growing season is beginning. The reindeer calves have just been born. This mother is nervous. She's seen the wolves. The reindeer break into a run. The pack of wolves is hot on their heels. A calf has broken away. The wolves are faster but the reindeer have more stamina. The she-wolf changes track. Her partner cuts off the calf. The wolves have been rewarded for their speed and teamwork. The leader of the pack gets to eat first. This behavior reinforces his place at the top of the wolf hierarchy. His mate will eat next, then the rest of the pack. Wolves have been wiped out in much of Europe and the USA, but they are now being reintroduced in some places with remarkable results. The wolf is the natural predator for large herbivores like elk and deer. When the wolves return to the forest, herbivore numbers decline. 
This reduces grazing pressure on the young trees and shrubs. This allows other animals to return, including beavers and foxes. So despite his fearful reputation, the wolf helps every plant and animal in the forest be in balance. Wolves guzzle their meat quickly. They go for the soft, highly nutritious parts first, heart, stomach and kidneys. Then they feast on the muscle. This pack comprises a mother and father, their pups and last year's offspring. They're one close family. The family that hunts together, eats and fights together. On a remote island off an island continent lives a bizarre forest warrior. He has strong jaws and sharp teeth and likes to hunt under the cover of darkness. A survivor on this last outpost of wilderness. This is the world's largest marsupial carnivore. He roams for up to 20 kilometers in the search for food and makes his home in holes in the ground. The Tasmanian Devil. He usually lives alone, but is often seen near others of his kind, when there's food or shelter around. And he will use almost any excuse to fight. They used to roam across the entire continent of Australia until humans wiped them out. Now they are clinging to survival on the island of Tasmania. They're not territorial, but devils will guard almost anything. Devil jaws are an amazing weapon, with teeth like hyenas and a bite force among the strongest in the animal kingdom. Fighting seems to be their favorite pastime. Tasmanian devils enjoy many kinds of meat, from fresh kills to decaying carcasses. The Tasmanian devil is a unique animal. He is the size of a small dog, but his large head and tail make up half his length. The mountains and valleys of Tasmania echo with the blood-curdling screams of the devil. This island is famous for its untouched wilderness and primeval forests. This devil can smell an intruder. His jaw can open as wide as 80 degrees and his bite is able to crush bones. His bite is so strong, he can even bite through pieces of thick metal wire. This national park has one of the largest groups of Tasmanian devils. This male can smell blood. His large clumps of whiskers help him find his way around, even in the dark. But they are also part of his adaptation as a warrior. Tazi devil's whiskers help him precisely locate the face of his opponent. These guys might look stocky and clumsy, but they are precision fighters. Most devils have scars around their faces from many encounters like these. The male has found what he was looking for, a wallaby carcass. He shows no caution as he goes straight for the food. Devils are not fussy eaters. This guy will eat a range of meat from birds, fish and reptiles, as well as vegetation and fruit. But in devil land, nothing comes without a fight. A crazy pattern of fighting and eating seems to be normal table manners for the Tasmanian devil. They very rarely fight to the death, 
but these clashes enable a hierarchy among the devil community. Our big male is top devil today. The search for food among these mountains and lakes can be hard work. Devils can travel long distances at speeds of 10 kilometers an hour. They are the marathon runners of the Tasmanian wilderness. This female can hear other... The devil calls. Another carcass. When devils attend these eating frenzies, they are communicating in a complex language. They have 20 different physical postures and 11 different vocal sounds. It might look brutal, but Tasmanian devils are sophisticated fighters with rules and manners. They are warriors struggling to survive in their isolated home. One of the most dangerous animals in Africa is famous for his size. He lives among the great herds of herbivores and is most feared for his unpredictable nature. This fierce warrior kills more people every year than lions or leopards. But his main diet is grass. The Cape Buffalo. These impressive animals can stand a meter and a half tall and weigh nearly a ton. But the reason for their deadly reputation is on their heads. Both males and females have a formidable set of horns. These horns are fused across the base, so they act as sword and shield. Cape buffalo are a species unto themselves, and they stand alone as the greatest herbivore warrior on the planet. This herd is mostly made up of related females and their young. There is one dominant male who can be recognized by the size of his horns. On the fringes of the herd are the young males. They waste no time getting into training with those horns. Buffalo have only three main enemies, lions, humans, and the African dry season. They must join the migrations across the plains to find fresh grazing lands and water. These migrating herds can contain over 2,000 buffalo. They join the vast numbers of wildebeest, zebra and antelope in the long march to greener pastures. But where there are lots of animals, there are also lots of predators. The lion is the primary predator of adult African buffaloes. She is risking her life by attacking something so large and dangerous. The buffalo has spotted her. The lioness persists. A kick from the buffalo could be a deadly blow. The buffalo must get rid of her attacker before she gets to her throat. The lioness goes straight for the neck. This pride of lions has gone for a safer target, a buffalo calf. But they are going to have to fight off a very angry mother. This is where those giant horns come in handy. And this is how buffalo kill. The lioness has pushed it far enough. She's not happy, but the buffalo and her calf have won this battle. The entire herd is now alerted. They don't want the lions hanging around. The lions back off. It's not worth the risk. The buffalo have not only protected themselves, they have protected their young, ensuring the next generation will survive the day. Physical strength has always been a primary force for selecting the animals that will survive to pass on their genes. 
the great warriors of the wild have become large and strong as a result. From the bears and wolves of the northern forests to the sea lions of the coasts. The stocky Tasmanian devil is pound for pound as tough as an African king.